All right, hello and welcome. This Pixlr tutorial is going to teach you how to um, edit images within your larger project. So let's say I have these two images, one of a cityscape and one of a majestic and beautiful serene lake. Let's say I want the background of this um, image in the sky in the distance, I want to have that cityscape. I want to have these skyscrapers peeking over. There are two ways that I can do this. One is by using the wand tool. So if I select the wand tool, I can go over to my sky. And when I click anywhere here, it's going to grab as much as it can of a similar shade of blue. And this is where the uh, Pixlr AI is going to try and select this as best it can. So if I click up here, you can see this gray hatch mark line around what it has selected. If I then hit the backspace key, you can see it's deleted most of that, but there's still a lot left over. I could click again here, it will select more, I can hit backspace again, and that area is deleted. There's some up here, and I could grab that again, hit backspace, and it's gone. The other thing I can do, if I undo what I just did to bring that sky back to life, might take a little longer, but allows you a little bit more personal control, and that's the lasso tool. If I use the lasso, I can actually draw along the outline that I want to select an area of the sky. So if I do this, I can follow the edges of these trees and grab this area. And what I'm going to want to do here is then select around the outside of the image all the way around and connect back to where I started. Once I release the left click, I've now selected this area. And if I zoom out, you can see I've got the whole sky in one big group. Now I can hit the backspace key and boom, it's gone. Now, in some ways, this can be a little easier because you can trace specific images instead of following the lines that the, uh, the colors that the wand tool will select. For instance, if I wanted to, I could cut a really rough star shape, a very rough star shape, hit delete, and that part's gone. But you can see that some areas are left. And if I zoom in, I could go through here and just individually trim out each of these little pieces. Okay. Now, if I hit Control Z a few times and back up to here, up here I can click Add to Selection. And then if I go in and I grab this, it'll add it to that big piece up top. Now, let's say I make a mistake and I accidentally do this when I'm drawing. I don't want to delete these trees. So I can go here and choose remove from selection. And I can then follow this area along these trees. And I can just cut a path in here. And you see I missed a little bit. And I can just circle that and it'll remove it from that selection. Now I've got just that sky selected. I could then hit backspace and it's all gone. If I use control undo, I could also move up to select. If I liked this sky, but wanted to lose the rest of my image, I could use select and invert the selection, which means I will select everything that I didn't just grab. I'm now grabbing the bottom instead of the top. If I hit backspace, I only have the sky. Now I'm gonna undo because I want that sky to be gone here. And if I hit delete, it's gone. Now, if I move back to my arrange tool and I go back here, I can move that skyline to the front and I still have that sky selected. So I'm gonna go up to select and hit deselect. Now I'm free. And if I move this guy up, I can move this here, put this guy maybe right where I want it. And then if I drop this back a layer again, hey, that's not too bad. Maybe it's not great, it might not be exactly what I want, but it's not looking too, too terrible. I could do a lot of fine work here in cutting out some of the little bits of uh, blue, but for a quick little edit that only took me a minute here, I've been able to eliminate that sky and put something else in its place. 
I did that using the wand tool and the lasso tool. These are just two different ways to select specific parts of your image.